name is Aviad al Magor. I'm in charge of the augmented reality program at Trimble. And I'm here to talk about uh, our partnership with Microsoft and the work we did together on uh, HoloLens. But before we start uh, to talk about the details, I would like to introduce Trimble, for those of you who are not familiar with the company. Uh, Trimble is a uh, global company. We have presence in about 150 countries. Uh, we are developing solutions for industries like uh, building construction, mining, geospatial, transportation, and some others. And we developed hardware and software. On the hardware side, um, it's about positioning devices and mapping. Think about highly accurate GPSs, uh, 3D scanners, total stations. And on the software side, it's about data analysis, uh, about 3D design tools like SketchUp, Pecto structures, facility management, and product management solutions. So that's about uh, Trimble. And before we start to talk about the proof of concept, um, kind of a personal note, about 20 years ago as an architectural student, I was introduced to the fascinating work of Filippo Brunelleschi, one of the foremost uh, uh, Italian Renaissance architect. And um, I have a very disappointing news for you guys. We believe that we are innovators, that we are in the for for forefront of the technology, but actually 700 years ago, Filippo Brunelleschi developed the first augmented reality device. So the adoption rate is pretty small. It's pretty <laughs> slow, probably. Uh, he did this work as part of uh, his design for the baptistry of San Giovanni, and he drew a perspective of the building. Uh, he punched a hole in this drawing, and equipped with a mirror, he went to the side, to the piazza. He puts this, uh, like you see here in the picture, he puts the image in front of his face, facing outward. He holds the mirror like this, and basically what, we saw, what he saw in front of his eyes, looking through the hole, is his design sitting in the real environment, in the piazza. A real magic from the 14th century, and fascinating work. But apart from the, the creative process, what is really interesting here is that the needs and the customer requirements remain more or less the same. So today we're using different technology, but we are trying to solve more or less the same issues. In the Trimble, when we analyze the market and we try to figure out what our customer is looking for, we identify those three themes. It's about efficient collaboration, it's about data interpretation and continuation. And again, before I'm going to the proof of concept work we did, I would like to explore those three themes because we believe that there is a real value here for our customers. So let's talk about collaboration. And the map you see here represents the structure of different industries. And we can see the red lines are basically internal links, internal to a specific company and the red dots are internal users. The purple lines and the purple dots are about external links and external users. And if you look at the financial services industry, for example, we'll see it's really very centralized. On the other hand, the construction industry looked like a complete chaos. And it, it is a kind of a chaos, I can tell you. We can see clusters of uh, external users in different locations, and there is a reason for this, and the reason is, I, I, will, I will demonstrate it in a real project. Let's take the Burj, Burj uh, uh, Dubai uh, or Burj Khalifa, one of the uh, most uh, famous projects in the recent years, the, the tallest structure in the world. And we can look at, about, at, at the stakeholders involved in this project. So we can see the owner, uh, the Imar properties. We can see the project management, Turner Construction, somewhere in the US the architect, SOM, which are actually located in seven different places around the world, the elevator contract, uh, contractor is a sample Otis, which again is in the US, the GC general contractor in South Korea, Samsung Engineering, and the supervision by Hydro Consulting, who is sitting in the UK. So it's, it's really everywhere. And it's a huge challenge to collaborate in this kind of environment. Add to this a complexity of a construction project, with not just six partners, but hundreds of partners, it's a miracle that those projects can be built. And we believe that with augmented reality 
And in this case, in this proof of concept with HoloLens, we can improve the collaboration of our customer. The second theme is about interpretation. And I guess most of you are familiar with this story about the blind man and the elephant. Each of them is approaching the animal and touching part of it and trying to express his understanding about what it is. One is touching the, the legs and he's talking about a tree trunk. One is touching the tail and he thinks it's a, it's a rope. And they're all correct, but they miss the big picture. And we can take this story and bring it into the building industry. And here we have an owner and an architect and an engineer and the uh, contractor. And they all, all of them have a different understanding about the project. And it's, that's how it should be. So the owner think about the value, the cost, and the benefit, the financial benefit. The architect put here his dreams about a new design. The engineer just trying to figure out how this structure can be built. And the, uh, the, the contractor will think about the schedule. And again, we should keep this because each one of them is responsible for different part of the project. But side by side with this understanding, we want to merge their subjective truths and create also kind of a common truth. So data interpretation is critical for us. We want to make sure that at the end of the day, this structure should be built and everyone should understand it in the same way. And the third theme for us is continuation. In the current process in construction, at every stage of the process, data is recreated from design to the de design development, pre-construction, construction, facility management. At each stage, people recreate data. And when you recreate data, it's an error-prone process. An error costs money and costs time. And we want to avoid it and provide a more efficient way to manage a project. And continuation is part of it. And I'm talking about continuation from <coughs> digital content to physical content. And I'm talking about continuation between office to the site and back from the site to the office. And if we can provide tools which will help us with this continuation process, it's a clear benefit for the industry. So with those three themes, we came to Microsoft and we discussed about what can be done, how we can use HoloLens and this holographic technology to support our customers. And we brought the industry knowledge, Microsoft brought in their experience developing for HoloLens and uh, for holographic technology and together we build kind of a proof of concept. A bit about the device itself before I'm talking about the, the work we did. So HoloLens is a wearable, self-contained holographic computer. There is a see-through device, which you can see holograms in the real world. There's a set of sensors which allows you to understand where you are, allows you or allows the system actually to understand where it is. And by doing this, you can start interacting between your content, in our case, 3D model, and the environment. And you can pin object into specific locations and they will be kept for you there. And when you come back later, you will still see them, see them in the environment. It's a Windows 10 device, meaning whatever you will develop for Windows 10 will be supported by HoloLens as well. So what we did, we actually took three types of technologies from Trimble portfolio. A desktop solution, in our case it was Trimble SketchUp, a 3D modeling application. A web-based technology, Trimble Connect, which is a collaboration tool from Trimble. And a hardware device, the V10 Imaging Rover, which is a 360 degrees uh, imaging device for surveying purpose. And we included them in the workflow, in this proof of concept. And we actually followed a real construction project. We hired an architect. We actually got support from Foster and Partners, a very famous and known architectural company from the UK. They sent an architect to work with us in Redmond in the Microsoft campus. And we picked a site in downtown Denver, and we actually asked this architect, hey, Mr. Architect, we would like you to design a building, a public building on this site using HoloLens. And it was a fascinating process. I'm an architect as well. It was fascinating for me to see how this architect could make design decisions using the holographic view. 
using this 3D model in front of him, working around it, understanding the relation between this model and the physical model of the environment we created for him. And I specifically were looking for the first time he put the device on his head, looking at his design. And you know, for architects, they are very sensitive to the design. It's like kind of the, the child. And it was amazing. It, the kind of smile on his face and wow, this is, it looks like real. With this process, the architect could take design decisions, run design iteration, and at the end of the day, he reached to a point where he was pretty satisfied from what he did. We added for, to this process the V10 imaging rover, and we provided him images from the side so he can completely immerse himself in the design, understand how users will experience uh, the design from the street, how the pedestrian who are working on the street will, will see his uh, design work. And he could switch actually, talking about this continuous process, between this kind of God view, the model on the table, to a fully immersive view, and vice versa, to, to find the best point for himself to analyze the work. Once this design phase was done, we moved to the collaboration stage. In our case, we were using Trimble Connect, which is again is a web-based collaboration and project management tool. And uh, we added more participants, more stakeholders. You remember the picture when we have people in the UK and people in the US and in, in South uh, Korea and so on. In our case, it's, it was smaller. It was a proof of concept, but we did remote collaboration. So you can see participants from different locations looking at the same holographic model from different places, and you can communicate with them about issues on the design. And it's more, than, it's more than, than just they are looking at the holographic view. They have the freedom to walk around, and you, as the other user, can see where they are standing and what they are looking at. Great way to collaborate remotely, and very efficient uh, solution. So once we were done with this collaboration process and we solved some more issues in the design, we moved from the office to the field. We actually took this 3D B model that uh, the architect developed with SketchUp and projected it in a one-to-one -one scale on site. So the construction workers can actually see what they need to do. Instead of opening a set of 2D documents as they are doing today, as they did in the last 10,000 years, instead of using those 2D to doc to the documents, they were actually looking at 3D model and they could understand what they should do uh, on site. Again, talking about this continuation, about preventing the, the user from uh, misunderstanding the data. Once the construction was done, we finalized the process by sending the data from the site back to the office. And in our case, it's a critical process to support facility management. When the project is done, I want to have the as-made design at the office to be able to continue to support the project uh, uh, while it's uh, in use. I would like to share with you the movie, uh, if you can switch to the movie, uh, of the proof of concept. Unfortunately, I cannot present a live demo here because it's tied to the physical model we created, but at least you can, you can see the movie which uh, uh, we created for this project. Where is the movie there? Architects are dealing with shapes and spaces and light, and they dream in 3D. And then you need to translate this design into a set of 2D documents. Holland presents a completely new paradigm. Trimble provides design solutions for architects and structure engineers. Anything that involves getting dirty is our business. Literally hundreds of enterprises can be represented on a job site. Today, the best way those companies have to interact with each other is uh, paper, paper drawings. But people aren't good at visualizing 3D. Microsoft HoloLens is a head-mounted, self-contained computer that lets you see holograms in the real world. You get the physical model as a, as a focus point for the team to collaborate around. And you get the hologram with the flexibility, with the ability to run quick iteration. You'll see how we've brought in the courtyard that you suggested. You see that mouse go off the screen and into holographic space, and you're then interacting with the hologram with the mouse. The thing that we can do for architects is really give them much higher confidence around decision making. 
one way we can do that is we can allow them to literally immerse themselves in the scene that they're building and see street side, how the building's gonna look. Visualizing design data in the context of the real environment is a much better way to make sure the design is implemented correctly on site. Microsoft HoloLens allows you to collaborate with somebody regardless of distance, like they were there. Hello there. Hey Igor, where they're trying to put this door, there's a beam behind here. I'm looking at this beam. We're interacting with it about a problem that we can see and being able to solve that problem with all the data that we need in front of us in real time. When I'm talking about enterprise construction, I always compare it to people trying to make music together. Each one of them is contributing to the harmony, but they all should be completely sync. My gray hair says I've been doing this for a while. I've seen a lot of these uh, new things come and go. And I expect in five years, we'll all be interacting with the world with this kind of technology. What's the next step for us? Um, Architects are dealing with shapes and spines. Once is not. Uh, I'm tired to hear myself. Uh, so what is the next step for us? Uh, based on the work we did, we are confident that this technology have enough benefits for our customers and quite an impressive business value for ourselves. And we're moving forward from the proof of concept stage to product development. We're actually uh, working now on developing extensions for our uh, software and integration with our hardware solution to support the HoloLens and the holographic technology. Thank you very much. <laughs>